Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Inn. Alright guys, I was going to say of our filthy Crossroad Inn, but the good news is it's not so filthy anymore. So let's do that. I did get some good information, so let's uh, let's see what we can work on here. We do have to get Nothing some money. Editing. So we gotta we kinda gotta start there. We gotta well, we gotta let some there's not enough drinks. Not enough drinks, huh? Well we got two hundred and forty two yeah. loggers. So is logger did I take logger off? I did take logger off. So now that we're creating logger, let's put logger back on the menu. So let's go ahead and do that. A mug of logger. And hopefully, hopefully, this will not, uh, this will not uh, be one of those situations. Let's put it somewhere even with the, mu the mug of wine, so we're in pretty good shape there. We're, we are going to have to go buy more wine, but we're going to need more money. But at least, hopefully, we can, uh, we can placate these. Wait, what was that? We're out of ingredients? What are we out of ingredients for? Uh, we've run out of wine. Yes, I know we need we, we need wine. I know this. I know this. I can see that we're at zero wine. Thank you, Mr. Narrator Man. Let's do this. Did I burn something? Your patron oh, God, I hope it not. It is too dark. It is too dark. No, it's not. Oh, a couple things I found out. Okay, so um, first thing, we tried, if you guys remember in a previous episode, we tried to put those fences around to get people... Yeah, we're going to have to, we have to put fence literally around the entire the entire joint to then funnel them to here. So if we want to do that, we'd have to put a fence around the entire place. I obviously don't have the moolah to do that right now, so that's going to have to wait. Secondly, I found out these are actually lit. If you remember in the last episode and the one before that, we were really wondering what was going on and whether those were lit or not and all of that good jazz. They are actually lit. So as you can kind of see, they... Um, I hope Let's get a performance out of this guy. They are they are pushed, putting out some light here. Okay. Now, last but not least, somebody told me that I should actually boot, give the boot to some of the um, individuals in my private rooms because they are uh, they are just taking up space and they're not paying any money. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to give them the old Buderuski. So I'm not sure exactly how we go about doing that, but uh, we want to keep a couple of them. So let's see. How do we let's see if we can figure One out exactly? One of your employees right. is sick. Guests. Here we go. So. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these guests. So let's see if we can narrow it down to just uh, this guy. Let's take a look at let's look at his stats. Can we see his stats? Professions. We can't really see his stats. We can see him pissing and moaning. But the, the out the, an outhouse would be useful. We do have an outhouse. Maybe we need a second outhouse now that we've got uh, now that we've got um, you know this many people. So we've got him and we've got Gala. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and see here. She is a tenant. She's strong, fast, smart. Hmm, how do we, how do we give her the boot? Drinking, she's got skilled drinking song. Oh, what's this? All right, yes, you got yourself a deal. So another Yorville. Uh, all right, let's get back in there. So Kobe... So I think we've got to put the eyeball on him and see where he is. So they've, they've, they've learned the drink skill. They haven't learned some of the other skills yet. But I'm going to say we need... We're only going to keep, like, one from a couple of different factions. Uh, if we've got anyone from here... Uh, Oberon. So we'll get, we'll get rid of Mr. Oberon. So let's see if we can get an eyeball on him. Downstairs. There we go, Mr. Oh. Oberon. So the question is, do we kick him out? Oh, he's leaving on his own. He's he's just he's just bailing on me anyways. So we don't even need to uh, we don't even need to uh, give him the Budaruski. Nameless, let's go see where are you at. Nameless is out here hanging out. Um, hmm, that 
that's an interest, interesting looking character. Old Nameless. Let's get a close up look at Nameless. Oh yeah, this was the guy that I was like, it's kind of horny. Really looking interesting, really interesting looking character. He doesn't, I don't think he's got a room. So let's see, who else, who else? How about here? Lilith. No food on the menu, You're prices employed. are too high, needs a place to stay. Up. Let's go ahead and get eyeballs on Lilith. Here's Lilith. I can sneak up to just about anyone. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm not quite sure. It's too dark. So they said it is too dark in the storage area. Okay. So I'm not quite sure if I just have to kick her out or what the deal is there. Huh. Maybe we'll just we'll just start renting rooms to the uh ready for anything. We'll start renting rooms to the your um say your inn is too dark. Where? Where's it too dark? Where are they saying it's too dark? Price are too high. Inga leveled up, place is too dirty. Um Where are they saying it's too dark? Has to be in here. Your employee. Let's is go ahead and um, let's throw in one of our one of our fancy schmancy little thingamabobbers here. Yeah, that should that should brighten things up. And then we can then we can take it, we can move this down to the end of the hallway here. Like this. And it kinda in the corner. There we go. Let's go upstairs. Is it too dark up here? Is that a is that an issue? These even lit? I'm gonna assume they are. Okay. Lit, lit. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's lit. What about up here? I think we don't have any light. We don't have any lighting up here, do we? Okay, let's um let's put some lighting in up here. Let's put uh, put a little candelabra in here. And we'll flip one around and put it in here. Like that. Who's this? Who's who's falling out of bed here? <laughs> let's see who's falling out of bed. Oberon! How the hell did you get up here? He's like he's he's only partially in bed. Look at him. He's kind of he's kind of in bed. <laughs> oh, there goes Lilith in a drunken stupor. All right, let's drop let's drop a little uh, a little there, and we'll flip one around and put it over here. Oops, there we go. Put one in this room as well, down the hallway. Or right, wait, didn't we have a bed in here? I thought we had a bed in here. Come on. Let's just we'll just put it right there. That way we get light everywhere. Should probably put a bed in there. Let's do that. Let's put a. Oh, oh we 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 went a little. Uh, we got a little excited with the uh, spending there. We had a bunch of money, and it went bye bye. <laughs> Our money went bye bye. How are we? Uh crap. We're out of mustard. We're out of wine. And is that it? How are we out of potatoes? Aren't you guys do aren't you guys doing the taters over here? Water fertilizer. Plant, taters, water, fertilizer. Do we have to do all these again too? Oh my god. Tomatoes. 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 Tomato. We're doing all tomatoes. A whole run of tomatoes. Give me the give me the magical fruit, tomatoes. There we go. All right, let's get some of this. Let's get this. Let's get this party started. Send you on a break. Right there you go. Your patrons say your inn is dead. So yeah, I know. What the one thing? Oh, the other piece of advice that I got recently was we need a staff break room because what's happening is is that our staff. Your reputation is improving. Is basically exhausted all the time because they don't actually have a staff break room. So we're gonna have to create that. But we're gonna need some money first. So let's uh, let's we'll um, we're gonna let them make some money. Then uh, hopefully we we'll, next bard we get we're gonna rent the bard a room. We're gonna we're gonna give the boot to the um, to one of our one of those one of those adventurers because we don't really need them. But but we do have this. And this quest. So let's see here. Reinforced doors, crossing the rooftop. Uh, 
Westgate, Southgate, right? Yes, 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 yes. So we can open up two more of these. Intelligence and Charisma. Chance is rather small. All right, we need five more travelers uh, stuffinsy stuffinsies. Your employee is leveling up. It's not open. I want to send my guy off to get some stuff. But nothing's available. There's so many things you want to do, and it's like, but at the same time, like, I got to be careful here, because I got to pay this loan back. Sweet potato fries. All right, what about these items? Any luck? Nope. So... I guarantee we have to open something else up down here to get to this. It's just the question is, which thing do we, which trade route do we have to open up? Or do, we, or do we have to just get like this open? Which I really wish I could do that. But instead we're going to, uh, let's, 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 let's have the criers bring some peeps in. Let's see, what do we got? 20 people, 10 people. We just, we just, we just need a little, a little light one over the course of, I was told there's over three days. So there we go, for three days. Let's get back to the inn. Let's go up here. And uh, let's drop a, uh, a bed in here. We're gonna drop a fancy schmancy bed in here. And we're gonna put it literally right there in the corner. Yeah, total, total feng shui uh, faux pas. There we go. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. I, I, I just can't. I can't. The OCD in me just can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> and I don't like that either. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this this way and get some get some light in these corners and then over there. There we go. All right. That's another room that we can open up. So let's go back down. Talk this to you. Give you some praise on. and send you on a break. So yeah. So we're gonna have to create a break room. How much time do we have left? Let's go see how much time we got left on this loan. Untermachian Bank. We have seven days, pay back 17,000, and we're sitting at 1,000 golden. Um, the good news is we're sitting we're sitting maxed out of this, so we're just going to buy ourselves... We're just going to buy ourselves another bunch of days. So there we go. That way, we can, uh, we can look at building this break room. I think I'm going to make it up here. It may be a mistake, but I sure hope not. So a break room... Game room, private room, kitchen, storage, staff room. A room where your employees can go to relax or complete some minor chores. Their favorite acti activity, however, is something entirely different. Complaining and babbling about their employer. Well, good. Good for you. You complain about that jerk. Because <laughs> he's, a, he's a menace to society. There we go. We'll get a break room going. Let's drop a little door on there. Let's give them let's give them the uh this door right here so it looks like it's you know it's got to have like a spell almost like it's one of those doors that looks like it requires a special knock so then Your the real question is, is do we have to put up. put anything special in the break room so let's see about staff room Your patrons appearance in is size dead. cleanliness safety you hear a ruckus approach the soldier you're a terrible human being so get Your the hell out of here reputation is improving Oh, oh, hey, look at that. We just sold a bunch of stuff. And that's going to uh, get us our some more of our... Nope, that's storage. Calm, calm yourself. Calm yourself, Limpy. Go like that. And like that. Oh, oh, the, the room's only 200. That's why we still have a bunch of money. All right. So then we, 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 what are we going to put? Like a little table in here? What's this? An elegant desk. A little table so they can sit down and relax. Put a, let's, yeah, let's put a little table in here. A little table right there. With some, uh, maybe with some benches. A little snap too. A little snap too. A little table with some benches there. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. And then uh, maybe we'll put a little bed in there. Yeah, I'll put a bed in the corners. In case somebody, in case somebody wants to take a little, a little schnooze. Let's see how that goes. Wish there was a hotkey for that. All right, clean it. praise and uh, start a break. Let's, up. hold on, let's pause this. Let's uh, put eyeballs on you. We can't, why can't we put eyeballs on this person? Okay, just watch them. I wanna, see, right I wanna see if they go to the break room. Okay, they're working their way over here. Um, nope, 
No, nope, they're not really on break. Oh, dirty. back to work. Huh. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, they're just cleaning. Oh, somebody came and took a snoozle. So is, is this one of my employees at least? User. I don't know who that is. Hopefully, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get eyeballs on uh, on who that might be. So the question becomes: Is there a way? So staff room appearance size? Okay, so we're we're looking pretty good. Not rented. Uh, okay, so let's see. Fight. Start a fight. Uh. So can we? Hmm. Maybe we should put we should put a dartboard in there or something. Put some other other funky stuff in there. Your Let's get to is leveling up. More taters. Uh, water, fertilizer, water, fertilizer. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. Did, did somebody get to level... Somebody else get to level 10? Inga. Inga got to level 10. All right, Inga. Let's go see what you got. Upgrade. Does it cost me anything? Just, I, just more salary, right? So when she was little, she used to wear a red hood. Her grandma told her it'd provoke a bull. Instead, it provoked a wolf. Grandma's, am I right? <laughs> okay. So, Inga. Let's upgrade her. Oh, 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 what do we got here? Inga, do you want to level up this worker? A thousand coins, huh? Your patrons say your inn is dirty. So is it level up the worker or is it upgrade the worker? Yeah, we'll upgrade her. So did it work? Wait, what? I'm confused at what's going on here. All right, approach the soldier. You're a terrible person. Your reputation is improving. All right, um, I'm a little confused at this Inga situation. Oh, there we go. Uh, wait, she doesn't have upgrade op an option anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Ah, uh, job well done. Fun, fun, fun. Great mood. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, she's she's working hard. She's putting in a good day's work, I think. <laughs> or does it maybe it takes time for that to happen? Wait, stop. You just came out of here. Why are you going in there? So this is only supposed to be for staff. Why is that dude in there? And how do I keep... All right, how do I keep you? You're doing a great job. Come on. But go on a break. You, you're doing a great job. But go take a break. Did I have two boxes? And both. Are ready to work. Oh, we're getting the tomatoes. Tomatoes are coming in hot. Ooh, we almost got our last bit of gossip, my friends. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. Oh, we, oh crap. We're always out of something, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, there we go. Good. We're good. Good on candles are coming in hot. Pardon the pun. So let's see, did somebody go back up there and go to bed? Wait. Is there two people in there? Um. Okay. Well, I guess I guess we can double up. You know, make good use make good use of your time. <laughs> what do you guys think they're doing in there? Let's see, let's see if, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait this out. If she gets up, and she's got a giant smile on her face, then we know what's going on. <laughs> your patrons say your inn is dirty. I mean, it kind of looks like he's putting the moves on her, doesn't it? I think he is. I think he is. I think he's, uh, you know, doing a little something, something. All right, let's head back out here. Okay, it looks like we can get this quest going. All right, here we go, Southgate. Binka Bonka. Uh, chance of success improbable. 
So intelligence is six, but it, it takes two. Why? Why? Why is it improbable for Lilith to pull that off? Kobe, improbable, almost sure. Nameless, and everybody is improbable. Oh, Gala can do it. All right, we're gonna send uh, Gala there, and then the West Gate. So the the real question is is do I need to send one to each of them or does Gala just do it all? Let's let's give her let's give her a moment to see if she does her thing. Oh oh oh! What are you doing, dude? Where are you running to? We'll give him we'll give him some praise. <laughs> He's in a great mood now. I bet you are, sir. I bet you are. How about her? Is she in a good mood? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, my goodness. There was another person in there. Slept badly. Well, I... Because Mandingo was on top of you, dude. <laughs> I have two There's two little food to feed all the patrons. Are ready to work. Your Let's, um... Is leveling up. Let's go ahead and put another bed in here. So they don't, you know, they don't have to, uh, they don't have to, uh, share too much. We'll give them, we'll give them a little, uh, a little break from, uh, too much of that stuff. Okay, I know what, I, the other thing I'm gonna do is, let's, um, how much are those things? 250, huh? Let's drop a couple of these in these rooms. Oops, where'd you go? Little, little, give them some private quarters. We'll, we'll put this one over here. It's like its own very own bathroom. And um, we'll give. Should we give one to these guys? Let's give one of these guys. Oh, not enough gold. Oh, oh, oh we blew through it. it. Goes so quick, man. It goes so quick, especially like when you are building your stuff all the time. Say your inn is dirty. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. All right. What do we need. Oh my God, we need wine. I keep forgetting to buy wine. Where are those? I was like, where are those candles? But they're here. Those candles are here. We need to, um... We need to save up. Come on, we got 50 people in here. We should be crushing it money-wise. The money should just be flowing in. How are we doing? How are employees is sick. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah. How about you, um... How about you go, uh, start a break? All right, one of the employees is sick. Off to Crossroads, you go. Go get healed up. And then, um, let's, all right, we've got to, uh... Oh, go ahead, take what you want. Your reputation is improving. Yeah, we're awesome, I know. All right, so we got wine right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll work. That's, that'll just get us started. We'll get more here shortly. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see here. Not you. It's you. I have two by. Start a break. And both are there we go. All right. Hopefully, hopefully the staff room will. Uh... All right. Oh my God. They're so tired. They were exhausted. <laughs> There's probably like ten people in each of those beds. I don't see anybody. If I don't see anybody sitting at the table in a bit. That thing's going bye-bye, too. Let's, um, should we give them some light? Oh, actually, let's, let's see here. Um, appearance, size, cleanliness, safety, staff room. All right. So I'm guessing with a higher quality staff room that we will... I wanted to put that dartboard, but where is that thing? I thought I got a dartboard. Decor. Maybe it's in here. Hmm, I don't see it. I don't see a dartboard in here. For some reason, I could have swore I had a dartboard. It's not enough. Maybe it's... Let's just try everything. How about we just stop wasting our time and search for it like that? <laughs> idiot. All right. There we go. And when I say idiot, I mean me. 
There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Make that money. All right. Why haven't we seen it? We haven't seen a uh, a bard in a while. That was yeah, weird. Yeah. Take a break. You. I'll clean it right now. Take a break. All right. So I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that giving these guys their staff room will uh, turn things around. Oh God. I feel like all. I, oh wait, wait, wait. Great job, Owen's child. The trade route to Ori is set, and the Merchant's Guild representative is on their way. Everything is going exactly as my vision has shown. Just make sure that the Untermarchian soldiers are far away from the inn. Otherwise, the merchant may be... Wait, wait, wait. Didn't we already do this? We already, we already did this. Is this busted? Or, does, or did we do something that made it... Uh, thank you for your advice, Seer. Tomaters. 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 There's too little food to feed all the patrons. Tomaters. Uh-oh. Who's here? Who's that? Uh-oh. We meet again, innkeeper. I need you to help me with one small matter. And what would that be? My soldiers found a man hiding in the forest. Turns out he was a member of the Merchant's Guild. Sadly, the poor bastard tried to run and ran straight into the sword of one of my men. Unfortunate, for I had no chance to interrogate him. But maybe you know something about him. Hmm. Yes, it does seem as if the traitor was trying to conspire with the enemy. Try that one. Ha-ha! You know what, innkeeper? I could defeat a whole armies on the battlefield. But a single traitor such as this can destroy all that for which I've been working. I cannot allow for that to happen. All right. Be careful, innkeeper. The Untermarchian barbarians are monsters. I'm doing all I can to save this country from them. But the death toll keeps rising. Still, soon I'll be deal the final blow. And you'll finally be safe. I'm doing this for people like you. All right. Wait a moment. Seems I'm being called back to camp. Apparently a courier has brought me an important message. Farewell. All right. Peace and chicken grease, Tootsie Pop. All right. End the war. You've chosen to work together with Calistera. She's a powerful ally. It's time to end the war. Claim that. Your reputation is War amazing. is over. Lady Commander is gone and the war is over. Finally, it's time to live normally. All right. Let's see this. Okie dokie. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. All right, so why is there too little food? What's going on here? What are we missing? Potatoes, mushrooms, eggs. Uh, that needs heat. Mustard. That needs heat as well. Are we out of wood? No, what the hell's going on here? Why are we having a wood issue? No, uh, I'm gonna do this. Hold on. Not that. Let's do this. Put that there. Move this over to here. So when they need wood, they don't have to go all the way through the frickin' inn. All right, we literally need a, a ton of stuff. Are we baking bread again? We should be, right? Nope, 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 don't move. Nope, I want you to stay there. We should be baking bread again. Let's go. Approach the soldier. Nope, you're an asteroid. Your reputation is improving. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. I'm working on it, sir. What do we have here? So we have cheese, we have bread, we have... What are those again? Oh, flour. No, the cereal. Cereal, cereal. Uh, but I don't feel like this is making... I don't feel like that's making any flour. Okay. And so Lady Commander has been punished for her crimes against the people of Yorbel. Among her things, a mysterious letter has been found. I had a vision it might be of great importance to you, Owen's child. It seems Judine never got a chance to send it. I had a vision you're no longer here. <laughs> That's hilarious. What exactly happened in that camp? When Judine learned about her brother's disappearance, she went insane. 
she ordered executions of all soldiers guarding him that day, then all the slaves and servants, and then anyone who tried to stand in her way. When soldiers refused her orders, she started lashing out at them with her sword. Finally, the guards managed to put her in chains and throw her into a cell. A sad end indeed, but a well-deserved one, and better than what could have been. All right, what happened to her brother? He wanted to forget all that had happened to him as soon as possible. I put him on a ship headed for Sambria. He'll spend some time with the seers and then go his own way, finally free. Letter? Indeed. Written by Lady Commander, it proves the existence of yet another person involved in the conspiracy against your father. I suggest you speak to Martine about this as soon as possible. I will miss your wise advice, Sia. I'm still finding it hard to fully extend your goals and motives, brother, but I'm glad we've succeeded. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. All right, I feel like I need another outhouse. Your patrons say your inn is dirty. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Not a dartboard. An outhouse. Where is that thing? Let's drop. Let's drop another outhouse over here. Right there for now. Actually, let's move this to here. Or not. Let's. Uh, we can squeeze it in right there. And then we're going to move this outhouse to right there. There we go. We can really squeeze that out like that. Oh, there, right. there we go. Okay, how we doing? Smoker, huh? Who's that? This life turned out not to be so bad. Well, last few days would sure make for a good story to tell. I'm glad it's over, though. The traitor got what she deserved. The soldiers are going home, and everything is back to normal. Ha! I'm afraid this is not the end of our troubles, Martine. Take a look at this letter. Another letter? God's damn. It is from our mysterious friend. Not at all. It's Lady Commander's letter addressed to someone named Trovin. Hmm. Don't try to threaten me, Trovin. Our alliance ended with Owen's death. In the times of war, it is you who should fear me. One more threat like that, and I'll have your head parading through the city on a spike while rabid dogs are devouring your body. Jay. Chancellor Marval Trovin was the official governing the royal treasury. Though quiet and reclusive, he was actually one of the most powerful people in Yorvale. For it was he who oversaw tax collection in the kingdom. With one decision, he could ruin any citizen of Yorville he wanted. There were rumors at the royal court in Ore that Trovin was ever more frequently considering stepping out of the shadows. A famous bard has arrived. So Trovin is like a ninja. He's pulling all the he's pulling all the strings in the background there. All right, we got no objectives yet. Haven't opened that up. Dance, go to sleep, talk. All right. So we had a little, we had a little thingamabobber there. We have, as of right now, we have no tasks. I'm assuming that won't last long. All right, my boy. We've survived fire, war, and that viper, the Countess. It's time to start making real money. Let's finally begin trading with Samria and welcome the nobles to our inn. They always have a lot of money. And it sure wouldn't hurt to open a gambling den. And maybe hire a few vedettas. Ooh, oh yeah, vedettas, vedettas, vedettas. Oh yeah, vedettas, vedettas, vedettas. Let's get to work. Let's get to work, sir. All right. So. We're going to have to start making a lot more money. Say your inn is dirty. All right, let's, uh, let's go in here. Start making real money. 5,000. <laughs> Accommodate a Vedetta. Vedettas are beautiful women who are sure to make your inn a better place for many patrons. Set up gambling tables. Hire a scoundrel to work the gambling tables. Gain more fame, which we're actually we've blown through that number. Create a trade route to Rakodi. Unlock a new social group in the innkeeper's journal. Boom shakalaka. So we got 28 points, so we literally can get everything. 
Oh yeah, bring on the vedettas. Vedettas, increase the amount of money people are willing to pay for food and drinks. Better quality workers will start appearing. Unlock beans in the garden trellis. Unlock more land, which is a good thing. Better quality workers. Another level up to the end. Go and grow our own mushrooms. Garlic. Significantly increase gossip limit by 100. Unlocks beehives so we can make honey and wax. Mead production. Candle maker. We need beeswax. Increase gossip limit by 100. Uh, shifts now for employees. And chicken coop so we can breed chickens for eggs and it needs cereal. Holy smoke a has arrived. So what just arrived? Out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. Damn onions. This is your this is gonna say your inn is dirty. This is gonna get a bit uh, a bit chaotic, I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's go see what we can uh, what we can hire now. So on this, we uh, we can only hire servants. Let's see, Inga. Inga is greedy and loyal. You're hired, Gwendolyn. Loyal and a smoker. You're hired. Oh, we can hire a bouncer now. A kitchen hand. Tin hoard, swindler, crook. This bog has arrived. A workman or a drudge. Let's hire a workman. Let's see here. Coward. Slacker. But tough. How about Guido? Chaotic. Gossiper. Perfectionist. And smart. You're hired, Guido. All right. So, famous bard has arrived. Where are you, dude? Somewhere over here. <laughs> Something weird is happening. Over there. Like, there's a famous bard. He's somewhere in here. Trying to click on him. Let's see if we go out here. Go back in. Nope. It's it's a it's a mess. It's a mess. Okay, we need um we need. Let's go back in here. We're gonna have to um. We're gonna have to really get some ma major planting going in these areas because uh, we need a lot of materials. For the constant level of people that are in this inn. And we can't keep going out and buying it. Are we really... Oh, man. Did you really do that to me? Onions, beans. So we can start making beans on these trellises. So let's see here. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. Bring them in. All right. So let's see. How much land exactly did we get? That didn't really... Oh, it expanded it this way. Didn't expand it this way. Didn't expand it that way. Just to, It just gave us this space right here. I expected it to be, like, so much more than that. Ugh. The problem with it... I wish it would allow you to pick where you want it to go. Because the problem with it picking that area right there... Hmm. Actually... That may not be terrible. That may not be terrible. Okay, let's see. What do we need? What do we need here? We need onions, beans, mustard, mushrooms, eggs, and more mushrooms. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go on a little shopping spree here. So we got uh, onions. Maybe somewhere. Where, I'm gonna see somewhere. Where was the mustard at again? I feel like it was over here. Oh, God! What I what I what I would give for a a search? There's mustard. Okay, mustard is here. So mustard and wine and eggs could probably get a pretty good deal right here at Ricotti. So let's see. Uh, onions, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then um, mustard. Holy crap, mustard's expensive. No, mustard's gonna be cheaper down here. 134 to 125, huh? Look at the onions shoot through the roof. Hmm. All right, we'll just 
We'll focus on the uh, onions here. Let's just do 10. And then, um, where are the eggs? Oh yeah, we'll do 10 of those. We'll do that. 972, okay. And then down here, we'll get the, um, the mustard. 125, still freaking expensive. Uh, let's see, one more. All right, we can get one more. So nine of those. All right, now we're broke again. Fantastic. And we need freaking candles. To feed all the uh, we got 55 candles. Why are you guys having candle issues? Tanya, you want to rent a room? So why don't you rent a room? What's going on? Is this all taken? Oh, crap. We are full up. We're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to expand. We're gonna have to expand here a bit. I think what we're gonna have to do... You've run out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. We're gonna have to move some stuff over to here. That's the good thing, is we can at least, like, some of this stuff that's outside, we can move. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move you... Oh, it's being, it's being used, so I can't actually move that right now. It's actually producing. Or does it have stuff in it? No? Why can't it move? Huh. That's weird. That's really strange. How about stuff that's, uh, I can move that. They must all be in use. See, this is really strange too, because- There's too little food to feed all the patrons. Out of an ingredient needed for one of the dishes. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, watch the bread, watch candles, watch cheese, watch the plates, watch the dirty plates. Uh, grapes. Herbs, spices, do do do. Watch the logger. We're blowing through logger now, by the way. Yes. Um. Watch the poultry. Watch the sausage. Oh, we've done pretty good on the. So one I'm assuming. Employees is sick. I'm assuming that one of these tomatoes is one that we um. Is one that we've grown, and the other one is one that um. That we purchased. There's two little See, like these ones with the poop on them. I'm assuming that those are uh, those are the ones that we've grown, or they may be the ones that are in here and they're not harvested yet. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing stuff against the wall. Just get, I'm total guessing. Praise. Take a break. Pray. Oops. Nope. 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 Praise. Take a break. Praise. All right, all of our stuff just showed up. That's good. It's a good start. Um, Wait, or at least some of our stuff. Our eggs and our onions showed up. What else do we need? We all have mushrooms. We need to go get mushrooms. But we're broke. We got mustard coming. We got onions coming. We got eggs. Uh, Yeah, we need mushrooms for like two different dishes. Oh, there he is. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Who is this? That's an adventurer. That's not a bard. Hey, wh what's up, girl? All right. Um, give her a special treat. Not saying what that is, but uh, we'll give her a special treat. All right, we're cleaning up those rooms. Clean up those rooms. I should probably divide this into some separate rooms. I feel like this is taking up a lot of space. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do this. Let's sell. Sell the rug. Sell the rug. Sell the bed. Sell that. Sell the potty. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. All right. Um, and then let's go up here. But we gotta sell everything, don't we? 
sell the light. And, um, okay, and then go here and probably have to sell the door first. Do that. Wait, what the heck? No, sell the door. Okay, so we had to go to the outside and do that. All right, so now let's go here and uh, we can't sell we can't sell that space. Uh, what if we want to change it? Kitchen, main hall, a guest room. Oh, we could just we could just designate it as a guest room, can't we? So let's go here. And then let's, instead of a, a private room, we'll designate this as a guest room, okay? And then, there we go, there we go. So we sold a bunch of stuff we didn't necessarily have to, but that's okay. I just, I think we're gonna just need more space for this, uh, for this, what's going on here. All right, so let's get a door on here. I wish you could, I wish you could put a door Why do I have a feeling that's gonna be a problem? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. All right, then let's go here. Let's, um, oh, wait. Somehow we just got an amazing bed. The bed of key of, oh, 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 okay. An orphan daughter of two couriers. She trained in one of the most famous houses of the moon. Really? So, well, we don't wanna do that yet. Let's see, how much do we have? Let's, uh, let's start here. One, two, let's get these, let's get the, the, these, these beds in here. The fancy beds, fancy schmancy beds. So let's see, uh, guest room. Is that this one? I'm guessing, let's see, can we raise the prices? Nope, 81, 81 is as high as we can go and now we gotta see if we can get back there. Uh, private room. Private room. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's this one, and we're definitely not renting it for 25. Hey, you guys can be a little unhappy, but we'll get we'll get more stuff in there. There we go. Uh, let's at least get some light in there. Do, 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 do. Where the hell are those lights? Yeah, let's do. Uh, let's do. Let's do. All this is. All these lights are so expensive. All right, let's just make some money first. We need 450 to put a little bit of light in here. All right. So, where the heck? I think I think to go up the stairs, we're going to have to do a stairwell here. Yeah, we'll do another stairwell here to go up to the next level, which on the fourth floor is where we'll have our Vedetta's room. We'll have our gambling hall. Let's, uh, hold on, pause for a second. Go all the way back down. Oh, that's the same, that's the same person. I don't want to rent you a room. I have a lot of secrets. Would you like to learn one or two? Let's, uh, send you on a break. Let's, uh, send you on a break. Looks like we're decently clean in here. What's she doing in the kitchen? Your employee is leveling up. All right, we're starting to do we're starting to do okay by the nobles. Um, okay, we still need to go, we need to go and we need to go get mushrooms. Okay, so the question becomes: Do we go spend the money on mushrooms, or brewery smokehouse, candle making tank? A beehive, a beehive two, a beehive three, a coop, bah, bah. a composter. Where the hell's the thing to get the mushrooms? Simple fence, a wood shed. Um, maybe on the, maybe on a trellis. Nope. Oh, oh we don't want to do that. Let's uh, get off of that. Let's see here. Mushrooms. Nope. We can do we can do beans. All right, candle making unit, disgusting outhouse, training dummy, a kern, bread oven, smokehouse, uh, brewery, trellis. Uh, 
palette. Huh. I would think that thing would, uh, what is it? What was it? Where were they? Unlocks dugouts. So we were looking for dugouts. Where the heck are those? We don't have a dugout. Maybe we have to go get it. Maybe we have to... I mean, it says it unlocked it, but... Uh, not so much. Not so much, my friends. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to just go buy mushrooms. Because uh, even though we want to produce them ourselves, it doesn't look like we can just yet. So where... Here, mushrooms. Come to daddy. Where are you at, mushrooms? Oh, God, this... Searching, searching the... There we go, there we go, there are the mushrooms. All right, butcher bills. Mushrooms, 86 at butcher bills. 85 at old hags. And 87s. So old hags it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Your employee is leveling up. There we go. We probably need more than that, but hopefully... <laughs> hopefully we can... Uh... Hopefully we can figure out this dugout situation. Now, the other thing I wanted to check, now that we've kind of moved forward. Nope, 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 nope. All right, nope, I was, I was wondering if that would allow for, um, what's going on here? Okay, so now that that thing is, is done growing, can we move it? We can, okay. So, thinking we go over here with this. Get it as far away as possible. Yes, and plant tomatoes, water. And as each of these get done, we'll move them. Hey, where the hell did that thing go? Come here, punk. Should be able to get three across. I really squeeze them in there. There we go. Really squeeze, we're squeezing them for space. Do some beans there, and we'll throw some water on that thing. Yeah, I, I have to say that would be a, a major yes please, is um, getting the ability to just set this, like just, I just wanna set this field to just, just go nuts with potatoes. I don't wanna have to every, I mean, cause you figure the thing is, well, is Patrick, like, if I wanna keep, too dark. based on everything that I'm trying to uh, produce right now if I were to take and try and be completely self-sufficient I mean I would have to have instead of four of these I would have to have more like um, let's see what things can we grow here so I'm gonna want potatoes cereal and onions so I probably need like 12 of those fields yeah a lot a lot of those fields so what is she doing up here what are you doing up here sweetheart all right, so they're renting the room. They're renting the. They're renting the sweet beds. All right, let's uh, praise you and send you on a break. Geez, she is like a ninja in the night. She moves around, wick. So, start making real money. All right. Gaming tables, scoundrel, gain more. All right, so we got the social group, so we just need to do this stuff. So let's watch. Yeah, let's watch it. Put it on the watch. Can't put it on the watch? Or it is already on the watch. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I need to do. Let's just put it that way. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. 
All right, so let's grab this one. Go over here. Gosh darn it. It's almost like I should just sell it and then just put it, rebuild it. Get it out as far as I can. That's good. Why'd those other ones not go out that far? That's weird. That's fine. All right, let's get this thing producing. Let's go with um. Let's go with some hops. Do a little. We're gonna do a little crop rotation on these guys. Let's see here. Grab this one. Get over here. Now the question becomes, how close? Can, how close can we have these to each other? I mean, technically we could have them this close, but I want to make sure that somebody can work them. There we go. We'll leave, we'll leave that much space right there. All right, let's, let's get over here. Grab that one. Get it as close as possible. There we go. Now, the real question is going to be, when these are going, uh, let's do beans there and tomatoes. When these are going, is the person gonna be able to walk to the outside this way and to get to the to get to the um, the stuff that they need to harvest? You know what I'm saying? So, because I'm gonna have them right up against the building, they're gonna get stuck. Oh God, let's hope not. <laughs> let's hope not. All right, how are we doing on our food? What are we missing? Beans. Uh, what happened here? Onion soup. is leveling up. Is this thing working? Tap, tap, tap. Is this thing on? Uh, mushrooms. We just ordered a bunch of mushrooms. Are they here yet? They must not be here yet. There's no way we're out of mushrooms. Let's go see. Uh, what don't we have down here? Let's uh, let's keep an eye on. Let's keep an eye on onions. There we go. And. I don't see I don't see those mushrooms coming in. We did buy them, right? Let's go take a look. Huh. Do we not? I could have swore we bought those mushrooms. There they are. There they are. They finally showed up. You're doing a great job. Go take a break. Get out of the get your butts out of the seats. Okay, ah, this cleaning. Oh my god, this place is filthy. I think I think I'm gonna have to um close for like a Your day or something. Is leveling up. Give everybody, let everybody, uh, let everybody like relax. One of your employees is sick. Oh boy. Take a break. Who's sick? Let's get out here. Let's get you cured up. Hickmat, go get cleaned up. Go get cured up. Your Hick patrons Matt. say your inn is dirty. All right, all right, guys. Well, you know we didn't get we didn't get as we didn't get uh, any kind of craziness, but we are on to the next chapter. We have some new people in our inn that are oh getting a little touchy feely. Oh, she's the vedetta. That's who she is. All right, all right. That's 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 who this this. This special lady is. Let's see here. Kira, no, Estelle. I don't know. I thought she's the vedetta. She's, You're she's, good. she's giving everybody a little bit of um, a little bit of the uh, the the um, spank and tickle, or is that what it is? No, slap and tickle. A little slap and tickle. <laughs> so there we go. We'll get her a vedetta room here shortly. Oh, we can put a couple more beds in here. Get these, get these people, uh, get these people sleeping like babies. There we go. There we go. Nice and, nice and close. Not enough gold. Oh, we lost some gold. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will be back tomorrow with another episode. And I hope you guys are there for that. Till next time, I will see you guys later.